Good morning. Hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. So today I need to make an arrangement for a birthday. And so I'm starting out with just a glass cylinder vase filled with fresh water, a little bit of flower food. I'm going to start with my greenery. So y'all please forgive my voice. I have allergies so bad and I have sneezed about a thousand times. So I am going to take uh, my leather and I am just using my floral knife and I'm cutting those stems at an angle and just tucking those right in to the base. tucked in. Next we're going to come in with some blue delphinium and our blue delphinium is our line flower. So blue delphinium comes in actually several shades. This is the royal blue but it does come, delphinium comes in white and purples, several shades of blue but I love this real vibrant royal blue. Um, it's really a perfect flower for a birthday to me because it's so much it's so bright and fun. So I'm going to take um, three stems and you can see I placed one in the center for my height and then one on each side. Now when using a line flower you're going to want to work in odd numbers especially with line flowers because quite honestly often they will look like antenna if you don't. So if you only use two and they're on the same level, they often look like a bug's antenna. So be sure that you stagger them down when you use them and use odd numbers. It's just more pleasing to the eye. Next I'm coming in with a little solidago. And solidago is just a filler flower. I like to add it in here because it's going to help keep all my flowers standing up. Next, I am going to come in with some sunflowers. So I have some bright, happy Vincent sunflowers. So a Vincent sunflower is the traditional sunflower. So when you think of a sunflower, most often you think of the Vincent, which is just that traditional bright yellow, happy sunflower. <clears throat> and sunflowers really are so very happy, aren't they? Happy, happy flowers. Okay, so a couple of sunflowers. These are called Alstroemeria lilies or Peruvian lilies, you might have heard them called. These are kind of a peachy orange that I thought they're inexpensive flowers and they fill in really, really well and they're long lasting. So what I'm doing is just taking and removing the foliage from that stem, cutting it at an angle and tucking it right down into that vase. But just go ahead and strip all that foliage off. And I've got one more stem. I'm going to nestle right there. All right, so there's our Alstros. Next, we have some pretty spray roses. So we have some orange spray roses. So I'm gonna remove some of that foliage. Okay. Yes, and a bit near. Um, do you that, sir? I'm gonna turn around my base. And you can see I've added yes. flowers on the back side. I just think it's always nice to have flowers all the way around in an arrangement. So if you're walking on the back side, you have pretty flowers there too. Now, I don't put many flowers back there, but I do think it's very nice to have a few. Okay. And then lastly, we are going to add some coral roses. I have a couple of that one. That's a, that one's got a bump. Some of these have bumps or bruises. And so, if that rose has a bump or a bruise, go ahead and remove those petals. I'm going to take a wire. I pressed it into that calyx right there up underneath that rose. Y'all 
forgive me, my nose itches so bad. <laughs> One more rose. I think I'm going to put him towards the back. And we're going to nest him right over here. Okay, so there's all our bright, pretty birthday colors. We're going to finish our little arrangement with a little bit. This one doesn't look good with a little bit of eucalyptus. And I just took and broke that stem. All right, so to finish this birthday arrangement, I'm going to add just a touch of um, ribbon. So I'm going to use this fun polka dot ribbon. Again, this is a birthday arrangement. So often I like to use ribbon on a birthday arrangement. I'm going to hold the ribbon and it does have a pattern on it. So it has a front side of the ribbon and a back side. I like to hold the pattern facing me and I'm going to make three loops. One, two, and you're gonna twist when using a patterned ribbon because you want that pattern on the top. You want to see the pattern. Take a pair of scissors, cut that stem. Next, I'm gonna come in and layer a green ribbon. So this is just a pretty wired green ribbon. I'm gonna only do two loops of the green ribbon. And then I'm gonna come in with our yellow ribbon. So I like to layer it just because it kind of looks like a birthday party. It's just kind of fun and pretty. Alright, so there's a blue, a green, and a yellow. Really, you can choose any colors that are in the arrangement. I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to press and twist. And then I'm going to fluff that bow really good. All right, and let me show you a trick about how to attach um, how to attach a bow. I'm just taking one of the stems that I cut off the rows, and I'm going to wrap that wire right around that stem. Just like that. And then I'm going to tuck that right down in to that flower arrangement. And there you have it, a birthday arrangement made for a sweet lady's birthday. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. If you have any questions about how we put this arrangement together, please don't hesitate to ask. You can drop that right here in the comments if you'd like, or you can um, send us an email. We're happy to answer any questions. Um, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, please hit that little subscribe button. And if you'll hit that bell, it'll give you notifications for when we have a new video up. And do me a great big favor and like this video. We would so appreciate it. Guys, you have a great day and we'll see you soon.